All right, in today's video, what we're gonna cover is what some people are describing to me as like a little hitch in their gait. And what they're showing me or what I'm seeing is this little moment where when they're swinging their leg through, their leg kind of pulls back in before they set it down. We're gonna go into what causes this little draw in your leg right before you set your foot down. And of course, exercises that you can start doing today to potentially help normalize your walking pattern and smooth out that little hitch in your walking. If you're new to this channel, I'm Tara, I'm a neurologic physical therapist. And on this channel, we talk about anything and everything related to mobility, health, fitness, and mindset with the end goal of empowering you with as many tools as possible to take ownership of your health and your overall mobility, to live an overall more active, more mobile, pain-free, happier, healthier life. And first, let's just talk about what causes this little, this little drawback in your leg right before you set it down. If you're someone that has had a stroke, we talk about this quite frequently on this channel, are abnormal synergy patterns. That's basically when muscles link up abnormally together, meaning that it becomes more challenging to isolate one joint. You have multiple joints kind of moving at the same time. One of those kind of abnormal synergy patterns is knee flexion and hip flexion. Those two movements link up together. And I think this is just my opinion based on the patients I've worked with and what I've observed, basically because when I see it, I try and isolate joint movement and they can't isolate joint movement. So I'm coming to the conclusion that the cause of this right here, right before you set your foot down is an abnormal synergy pattern, meaning when you're flexing your hip and bringing it forward, your knee wants to flex, okay? So hip flexion with knee extension is what we call an out of synergy movement, and it would be a more advanced stage in the recovery process after a stroke. So if you're someone that you're walking pretty good, your leg is starting to move, but you have this little hitch, you might be ready to start working into that next stage of recovery where you're working out of a synergy pattern. And that's what we're gonna go over today. How do you isolate knee extension? Because that would be normal walking at what we call terminal swing or heel strike or initial contact, depending on who you read, they refer to it as different things. Um, you want knee extension. There's a moment where that knee is extended straight and your hip is flexed. So how do we work on that moment of that knee extension? That's what we're gonna cover today. So let's go ahead and dive into the exercises. All right, so the first exercise is just gonna be kind of like a passive technique. So let's put your hip in flexion and just see if you can work on that knee extension. That's number one. A lot of you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of try and throw your your body backwards. And the reason for that is, is the other synergy pattern is what we call an extensor synergy pattern. And that's when the knee wants to straight, straighten out, the hip wants to straighten out also. So your job or your role is gonna be to sit in a chair with a back, try not to slide your hips forward when you go to straighten that knee out, okay? This is kind of more of a passive technique. You can also just kind of use your arm to kind of hold yourself forward. And you're just gonna work on that terminal knee extension. If you can do that, the next hardest variation would be to lift that foot up. If you have an AFO, I highly recommend you definitely wear your AFO. If you don't have an AFO and you notice that your foot tries to point every time you do that, I would try and get some kind of a night splint because again, that's a synergy pattern where the knee strains out the foot points, those two go together. And if you truly wanted to break up an abnormal synergy pattern, you would not want the foot to point. So if you notice that your foot's involuntarily pointing, you want something to keep that foot flexed up so you can literally just isolate knee extension. But I've done a lot of videos on that, and that's really only half the story. The other big problem that I think contributes to this is that people that have that little hitch, they cannot flex their hip without bending their knee, and that's what we're gonna go into next. How do you now flex the hip without that knee bending? All right. 
So the key to this exercise is relaxing that hip without relaxing the knee. That's the most challenging part of this, and that is the cue. So I know I've shown this, I show this exercise quite a bit, but for the purpose of this video and to improve that small moment in the walking cycle, I cannot recommend this exercise enough. The key factor is relaxing the glute muscle, allowing the leg to come up. So letting that band bring your leg up while also keeping your knee locked out. That is the hardest part, but if you think about it or you can visualize it, that is the exact moment in the walking cycle where you need to be doing those two things, right? You need to be allowing your leg to come forward, but keeping that knee locked out. What I notice when I do this with people is when they relax that glute or that hip and they let that leg come up, the knee wants to come in. And if you can see, that's what that walking pattern looks like. There's this little jerk right there. So you're trying to, can you keep that knee locked out and allow that band to bring your leg up? Super important. I cannot stress it enough. Um, if you can come up with some way to create this setup at home, this will be the key to solving that particular walking problem. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did and you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so that you'll get notified every time I upload new videos. I enjoyed spending time with y'all today and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.